Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Workbook Lesson 196. It can be but myself I crucify. It can be but myself I crucify. When this is firmly understood and kept in full awareness, you will not attempt to harm yourself nor make your body slave to vengeance. You will not attack yourself and you will realize that to attack another is but to attack yourself. You will be free of the insane belief that to attack a brother saves yourself and you will understand his safety is your own and in his healing you are healed. Perhaps at first you will not understand how mercy, limitlessness, and all things held in its sure protection can be found in the idea we practice for today. It may, in fact, appear to be a sign that punishment can never be escaped because the ego, under what it sees as threat, is quick to cite the truth to save its lies. Yet must it fail to understand the truth it uses thus? But you can learn to see of these foolish applications and deny the meaning they appear to have. Thus do you also teach your mind that you are not an ego. For the ways in which the ego would distort the truth will not deceive you longer. You will not believe you are a body to be crucified, and you will see where in today's idea, the light of resurrection, looking past all thoughts of crucifixion and of death, to thoughts of liberation and life. Today's idea is one step we take in leading us from bondage to the state of perfect freedom. Let us take this step today that we may quickly go the way salvation shows us, taking every step in its appointed sequence as the mind relinquishes its burden one by one. It is not time we need for this. It is but willingness. For what would seem to need a thousand years can easily be done in just one instant by the grace of God. The dreary, hopeless thought that you can make attacks on others and escape yourself has nailed you to the cross. Perhaps it seemed to be real salvation. Yet it merely stood for the belief the fear of God is real. And what is that but hell? Who could believe his father is his deadly enemy, separate from him and waiting to destroy his life and blot him from the universe without the fear of hell upon his heart? Such is the form of madness you believe if you accept the fearful thought you can attack another and be free yourself. Until this form is changed, there is no hope. Until you see that this, at least, must be entirely impossible. How could there be escape? The fear of God is real to anyone who thinks this thought is true, and he will not perceive its foolishness, nor even see that it is there, so that it would be possible to question it. To question it at all, its form must first be changed, at least as much as will permit fear of retaliation to abate and the responsibility returned to some extent to you. From there, you can at least consider if you want to go along this painful path. Until this shift has been accomplished, you cannot perceive that it is but your thoughts that bring you fear, and your deliverance depends on you. Our next steps will be easy if you take this one today. From there, we go ahead quite rapidly. For once you understand that it is impossible that you be hurt except by your own thoughts, the fear of God must disappear. You cannot then believe that fear is caused without. And God, whom you had thought to banish, can be welcomed back within the holy mind he never left. Salvation song can certainly be held in the idea we practice for today. 
if it can be you, you crucify. You, let me try this. This is a tricky sentence. If it can be but you, no, no, I hit the button the wrong place. If it can but be you, you crucify. You did not hurt the world and need not fear its vengeance and pursuit. Nor need you hide in terror from the deadly fear of God projection hides behind. The thing you dread the most is your salvation. You are strong, and it is strength you want. And you are free and glad of freedom. You have sought to be both weak and bound because you fear your strength and freedom. Yet salvation lies in them. There is an instant in which terror seems to grip your mind so wholly that, it is, that escape appears quite hopeless. When you realize once and for all that it is you you fear, the mind perceives itself as split. And this had been concealed while you believed attack could be directed outward and returned from outside to within. It seemed to be an enemy outside you you had to fear, and thus a god outside yourself became your mortal enemy, the source of fear. Now, for an instant, is a murderer perceived within you, eager for your death, intent on plotting punishment for you until the time when it can kill at last. Yet in this instant is, this, is the time as well in which salvation comes, for fear of God has disappeared and you can call on him to save you from illusions by his love, calling him father and yourself his son. Pray that the instant may be soon, today. Step back from fear and make advance to love. There is no thought of God that does not go with you to help you reach that instant and to go beyond it quickly, surely, and forever. When the fear of God is gone, there are no obstacles that still remain between you and the holy peace of God. How kind and merciful is the idea we practice. Give it welcome, as you should, for it is your release. It is indeed, but you, your mind, can try to crucify. Yet your redemption, too, will come from you. powerful, powerful uh, lesson today. And really, you know, critical uh, to understand the backstory of their, their, you know, there's a saying I use a lot, there's nobody here, there's nobody else here. Because everything really stems from our internal experience. Everything we experience in what we think is this external world out here is of our making. We're projecting it. There's definitely a co-creation because other people are projecting as well. But it always comes back to our choice to change our mind. We change what we see. And so when you realize there isn't anything else out there that that divinity springs from within you, eternally from within you, you realize that you're creating the problems that you see with your judgments. So when you're wanting to crucify anybody else, when you're wanting to punish anybody else for the way the world is, for the way things are, you're, you're, you're in a fantasy world. And, and so it comes back to, it can be but myself I crucify. There isn't anything out there to crucify. So you, you really, it's, it's, all, it's all you. It's your choice. You are a divine being. 
and I hope that you have a great day today working with this lesson. If you need me, you can reach me, 907-351-3003, Facebook, YouTube, my website, lindalamp.com, or lindalamp.shop. Thanks again. Namaste. Much love.